On the 25th of December 2019, I got scammed in Kumasi in broad daylight whilst I was trying to offer help or trying to help somebody out there. In this video, I'm going to break everything down as to how the whole process went about and how these people ended up duping me and I lost my phone plus some amounts of money. I'm only making this video because you out there, it can happen to you, it can happen to your family member or it can happen to anyone at any point in time and you have to be aware of this trick, this tip so that the next time you meet somebody, a stranger in Kumase or in any other part of the world and you are trying to offer help, you may know how to go about it. I'm going to mix up the local language and English so that this process will get to everybody so that you all can really get to know this process. Before I start everything, my name is Innocent. I make Photoshop tutorials and tech videos. If there's something that interests you, start by subscribing to the channel and make sure you share this video to everybody because it can happen to anybody at any point in time. So let's get into the video as to how this whole thing went about. So like I said on the 25th of December, I was coming back from Cape Coast. So as I got to Kumase, precisely Bantama, that is around Konfanochi Teaching Hospital, that area, I met this 40, 42 year old man. He's an average year old man. Just a one shed in February around or best 40 42 or maybe so initially i was moving and he came by my side and he asked whether i know a particular woman a certain woman he made mention of a particular woman sorry but i've forgotten the name but i think it was something it sounded something like auntie mary our tongue and yema obantama so initially i said that i didn't know auntie mary and I was moving, I was still moving. I didn't really mind him. But he still came further to ask that can I show him the way to Bantama. Actually, I only offered a help because he was a young average man, around 40, 42. And you know, we've all been in situations and we've all been in places where we've asked for help. So I decided to give him a helping hand. Now, this man went further on to ask that he has a lot of money on him and that if i could escort him to the junction that is the Confanochi teaching hospital runabout that area so meet me i could do sergeant so but i earlier on rejected that idea that i can't really help so what he did was that in front of everybody this man actually almost knelt down and it was kind of creating attention it was kind of bringing attention on to us so i decided to ask, okay let me just offer the help after all because i could generate the nc um runabout you know and all that is the junction over there and he can proceed from there now as we moved about 100 meters we met one young guy basically i thought these two guys had no link or no connection but then later on you come to realize that it was actually his partner so what I did was that I asked him whether he knows of the said Aunt Mary this man is talking about. And then Okayoji to him said yes, he knows the person that he's talking about. And that he's at Bantama and he sells or she sells aluminium and roofing sheets and those kind of things. Okay, so what we agreed on was that our escort plus the man that we met, our escort them to the roundabout. And then when you get to the roundabout, then they will proceed further to the place that the man was talking about. Now, as we moved on, the man came to me and that he said that he has a lot of money on him. The second guy that we met actually looked a little bit rough. Excuse my language, but he looked a little bit rough. And that he said that he was selling shoes and those kind of stuff in town. But he's about going to take something so he can just escort us. At least he's also trying to offer help. Into your call, your name I call Sergeant Shane. So to say the name of him, and he could do honor. We decided to take another car. Now when we got there, 
I told them that was the agreement that when you get to the junction, they will proceed and then I will go back to where because I was supposed to go and buy something. But this man still insisted that pleading that I should still go with them, that he's afraid of the guy in question. I trusted too much. I got so emotional. I tried to put myself in the shoes of the man that if this were to happen to me that I get to some place that I don't know anything about and I'm trying to get help and it's not coming like what would I do so I tried to place myself in the shoes of the man trying to offer help trying to offer assistance now me try some help and I thought of it that some vagina so one guy in go call now baby kotuna how would I feel so I tried to put myself in the shoes of the man not knowing that everything was actually planned towards me we are living in a crazy world so fast forward we got as we got to the taxi rank that is the roundabout we sat in one taxi now something quite unusual happened at the taxi rank as we sat in the taxi the driver got some way emotionalized i don't know how to explain this to you but then his mood changed the guys around and the drivers around was blinking their eyes towards me but you know these signs didn't really get to me because i've realized situations where you get to the taxi rank you sit in one taxi and there will be that taxi driver out there trying to tell you that you should come out of the taxi and board his taxi so i was actually thinking of that instead these people know these guys that we are talking about but the sad aspect of the whole truth is that they can't tell you point blank the only thing that you can offer the only assistant that you can offer is to tell you or or by doing signs just like they did to me so they will be blinking their eyes their moods will change they will try to stare at you in a very unusual way that or those things are the only signs that they will give to you you can't get anything else because it was explained to me later on that once they tell you that these guys are bad guys and they are trying to take you to a place to dupe you they are going to get killed so these guys in these areas they know the guys but they can't tell you that is so sad so we got in the car and the car set off and one thing that i was trying to do is that i was trying to locate the said area at actually been at the place before the area sorry i've been at the area just my costa area move on that but that particular place that auntie mary mr nana said that was where i didn't know honestly i didn't know anything about that place but that area that bantama area i've been there before so that was the reason why i even decided to go with them so when we sat in the car the guy or the man that i met earlier on started giving me some signs that the person who directed him gave him some signs that when he's going he'll come across this signboard he'll come across this school he'll come across this he'll come across that so he made mention of about two of them and i tried googling it up now something quite unusual happened again I was having a lot of data bundle but google maps decided not to respond or as you say my internet decided not to respond it wasn't giving me any feedback like the network was totally down but it was in the middle of commerce bank to match be precise and i was kind of confused as to how that is supposed to happen at that time so we proceeded and we got to the place we actually alighted at 
a particular junction and we went we walked a little bit further to be honest the place that this thing happened wasn't really a closed area it was an open area there was a school there were nice buildings over there so this man or the guy the second guy that we met actually said that that is the house and the first man actually confirmed it so it was a greenhouse very nice building which in my opinion looked like a very nice house a very nice building that they can sell these kind of things so i was only waiting for the man to go there and try to at least confirm that that is the exact place so that i can just take my leave after all i've done the good that i was supposed to do and then i can leave so the man went inside and it was left with me and the second guy that we met outside of there so as he went inside this second guy tried to bring up some conversation and i was i was kind of scared because that area you have to be scared over there because i've heard a lot of stories about that place so but i tried staying away from the guy because the intent was that maybe he can come physically to attack me so i was staying a bit close and people were moving here and there so, so i wasn't that really scared but i was kind of you know very scared because i knew anything could happen to me at that time but i was trying to be as much as careful in order to deliver the good that i started so about two minutes later the man came back and then he said that he met the woman and like everything is in course so he just wants to come and say thank you and to say bye bye but and okay we all agreed and i just told them that i'm taking my leave as i was about taking my leave the man called me back again like i said in the earlier part this man is around 40 42 he's qualified to be my uncle like any early person that i supposed to give the needed respect to so of very back you know i got confused and i i just went because i i was i was coming with him and i didn't know what he was saying coming to say to me so of very back and then i'll say um because of the good that we've done to him he wants to say a very big thank you to us like of a soul die i say and all those things mind you this all this time around they are not said anything about money they are not said anything about gold diamond any mineral thing they are not said anything about these things so that old strategy they are no more using it like somebody will meet you in town and he ask you do you know where we exchange money do you know where we sell gold diamond they are no more using it they try to play on your emotions they try to get you to trust them and then they try to take you to that place where they can absolutely dupe you whatever way that they want you used to so this man said that actually i've helped him a lot and that he wants to kind of reward me or something like that show appreciation now don't get me wrong but we all get appreciated for the little things that we do you know we do some things for people even strangers and they appreciate us now i didn't know the kind of appreciation this man was talking about whether it was money it was a very a thank you or anything like that but then this man said that he initially when we met he said that he's coming from takwa Takwa, if you know Takwa, Takwa is an area where mines and all those things are done. So this man said that he has um, something called white stone. Now when he said this, initially I really didn't entertain him that okay, so what next? But this second guy drew closer to listen further. So I was calm, staying, at least hearing what he has to say. So he, he said that he has this white stone and that he wants to give me a little that I can kind of go and exchange it for money or something like that. Ain't he? As a papa na me here, no? But I didn't know about this white stone or something like that. So I just said, okay. And so how does it work? 
and he said okay it's more or less like gold that diamond and stuff you can just take it to any place and then you can just exchange it for money i said okay being appreciated for the good things that i've done or something that i've done in this way is not a bad thing but thank you so it was kind of like i was rejecting the offer so this second guy came into the scene and he said oh yes he 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 knows about it he has worked at a mining area and he knows a little bit about these things and so he can see one when he sees it so this man brought out the thing and then he showed it to the guy it was some white tiny substance i didn't know anything about it so i just stayed there calm and he showed it to the guy and the guy said okay that is one so from there this man came directly at me and he said that i was the first person that he met a second guy came into the question some few minutes later so if he has anything to offer it is me that is going to give the thing to so i should bring out something and just take it and leave and i said i didn't know anything about it but the other guy knows it so he should just give it to them so from there i think they realized that i wasn't really interested in that so he tried to to double up or advance their steps so this guy said that since he knows about it even if it is original when it is stick to your hair it will attract it like a magnet not to say it can't with ya say hey papa it can't with ya a bet she to say magnet kind of that thing so the man drew closer and he used it on his hair and he said that yes it is original and that it got stuck to his hair and he didn't bring it in the first place but he said that it attracts money does the guy have money on him and he said yes he has a lot of cash and he brought out physical cash i saw the cash and he said it's 800 though i didn't know the amount but it was <clears throat> a part of money and he said it's 850 cities that the certain attracts money so when the money issue came in i was not feeling comfortable so that was when the man knew that i i was about leaving like he knew that the plans is not going as predicted and so he has to further advance his steps so he said that okay if i don't know about it i should let him use it on my hair so that i can know whether it is original or not just like the other guy said that he used it on his hair and it's original and that was when everything happened it happened just in a blank like in in a second everything just i don't know but this guy or this man used the same thing on my hair and honestly telling you i really don't remember what happened next i actually went further to give them my mobile money pin and they transferred the cash so between that period of he using the thing on my hair till the time we departed everything that happened happened i gave them the password to my my phone my mobile money pin they took my um, digital watch they took the headset in my bag they took even perfume they took i was very lucky that i had my laptop in my bag but i had like i said i was returning from a trip so i had a lot of items like clothes on it packed on it and i don't know whether they saw it they decided not to take it or i was quite fortunate they decided to spare me that particular laptop and at that moment i lost my phone the cash on me and the mobile money on my phone so we just separated the time that i came really came back to my senses i had separated from them 
and I was on the street where we earlier alighted at that we went further into the school. Now one thing is when I lay low, very calm and try to think of anything that happened, I can kind of recall or see these things that happened. It wasn't a matter of force, there was no gun point, it wasn't a gun point, there was no knife on me, just that they used whatever they had to use on me and to get me to give them the details to my mobile money account which is quite unusual so that was how these people played on my emotions played on me being trying to offer help trying to do good not knowing that i was digging my own pit and that i'm going to fall into it break my neck and just die instantly so they succeeded in getting the phone the cash on me the cash on my wallet that is on my mobile money my headset and a couple of stuffs they took all of them away and i was left stranded in the midst of kumase in bantama that a lot happened afterwards i wouldn't wish this would even happen to my biggest enemy and this does not supposed to happen to anyone that is the reason why i'm making this video so that you can be aware out there in case you find yourself probably in kumase and if you come you come across these people sex people because they are actually there and later on it was explained to me that that is the thing that they do they try to play on your emotions get you to their point their spot and any way that they can take to get the things from you they take it if it happens very critical it can be at gunpoint they can use knives on you and any other thing that they can use on you to get these things from you in the that was what happened there is seeing i got emotionalized to help to offer help and and trying to put myself in the shoes of this man I got scammed big time. This ha has never happened to me. Like I've heard a lot of stories about people, their phones are being changed into a lot of things. They are being asked to show people where they exchange money and those things and they are tricked into but this particular thing was actually well carried out and honestly telling you these guys are so professional like they did everything from the time we met the first the second guy that as if they don't know themselves so and you will be made to believe that everything is real and the, the man that i met dressed very neatly he was very well presented that you wouldn't even think of that about him later on it was also added that that is how that is the trick that they are using now they are using people that you have pity on them pregnant women children kids and these old or average people they use them so that you out there you're going to have pity on them and they can play on your emotions to get whatever that you want to get from you so basically that's it that was what actually happened i pray that this doesn't happen to any of you out there that is why you have to share this video and instead that was i will share this video with so that they wouldn't find themselves in this particular trauma i went into a lot of things and that was one of the reasons why i've not posted on this channel for a while i had to take some break to think about things and put things together so that I can come back even stronger again. But all the same, I would like to say that everything happens for a reason and uh, I think there is a step further for me to put myself together, to think more, to deepen my thinking capacity and to, you know, kind of know the kind of people that I offer help to, the kind of people that I decide to to help 
or the kind of people that I decide to trust. So if you find yourself out there and you want to offer help, this doesn't or this shouldn't prevent you from giving help out there. But at least you should know how to carry this out so that you don't fall into such a trap. Make sure you share this video to everybody out there. And a very big thank you to all those people who sent emails, who sent messages on Facebook or my personal phone asking how I'm doing, why I'm not posting and checking up on me. Thank you all so much. Your help and support means a lot. And in any way that you contributed or supported praying, I really appreciate and love you all. Make sure you share this video. And we have to be guided by this because it has happened to a lot of people but they are not coming out to say it but i think this is an opportunity for me to tell the world out there that we have such people in our midst and you have to be careful out there probably if i had watched a video similar to this one or a, vi a video like this i wouldn't have fall into their trap so make sure you share it out there so that it will reach the people and then they can stay safe out there. Thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be bringing out some Photoshop tutorials in the next few days. Thank you and I'll see you guys in the next one. It's Innocent here. Bye.